What's good y'all Riley Beats here and today, today we are back with another episode of Melody Monday and for this episode of Melody Monday we are going to be talking about how to make the hardest melodies for Nardo Wick. I just want to say a big thank you to the channel members displayed on screen right now. If you want to become a channel member and gain access to exclusive perks, press the join button down below. And also if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated. It helps feed my dog. Now let's get right into it. So BPM for these kinds of melodies, it's kind of your typical trap BPM. Oftentimes you will see it a little bit on the faster side. Mine's 162 here. For sound selection, Nardo Wick beats use a lot of ethnic sounds, but outside of that you will see pianos or other keyed instruments, pads or other kinds of synths, and strings. So usually these melodies are very simple. I literally just have a 1-6 progression here. And this progression is great for trap because the 1 is a point of resolution and the 6 is a point of tension. So from there you'll want to make chords, and again the chords are very simple. I built basic triads with my bass notes, but then for this first C sharp minor chord, I made it a suspended second, just to give it a bit more of a darker vibe. So this is how the regular C sharp minor chord would sound, and here's how the suspended second version of it sounds. Kind of just has a darker feel to it. Now from there you'll want to take your chords and just arpeggiate them. It's better to do a downwards arpeggiation like I've done here, because oftentimes that will sound darker or give it a darker feel. As well, I threw in this note here and here, and it's just a semitone apart from the E, so in the arpeggiation it will have a darker feel as well. Then from there I took my bass notes and layered them, but I added a little bit more rhythm to the bass notes, so I have the one being held here longer, and then it goes up to the six. And having this disjointed kind of rhythm where the 6 is being played on a weaker beat will ensure that the melody has a spookier or darker vibe. And this is a point of rhythmic tension because you're expecting the 6 here to be played for a longer interval of time. Then with the synth I actually layered the bass notes. And I did this just to give it a bit more of an airy feel and to fill up some frequencies. Then I made this really simple counter melody with a piano. I had a lot of my notes being played just a semitone apart. And for the second half of this melody, I brought it up an octave. And this is a very common thing you'll see in Nardo Wick types of melodies. And the reason for this is because it picks up the energy in the second half of the loop. And overall, that just makes everything sound more intense. Then I made this string counter melody and it's just doing staccato strings. Again, I have a lot of the notes being a semitone apart just for that dark and eerie vibe. And it's also doing that same thing where it's picking up energy in the second half. And now here's the sauce to these melodies. So one of the first things I did after I made the main melody components is I took this layer of the bass notes, reversed it, and sped it up to be twice as fast. And then I made a bunch of cuts like I did here and here to give it a choppier sound. And these kinds of cuts are very important for Nardo Wick melodies, and they're also a great way just to make your melodies better overall or more unique. I also did the same kind of cuts with the other piano melodies, so I have the actual bass notes here, and then I have the main piano melody here. I took that piano counter melody from before and just pitched it down a bunch, and then I threw a bunch of reverb on it. Then for the staccato strings, I duplicated the sound and pitched it down by an octave. And then I also panned each one just a little bit to the right and left. So this one's panned just a little bit to the right, and this one's panned just a little bit to the left. And other than that, I left everything the same. Anyways, that's how to make a hard Nardo Wick melody. Again, if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And here's the full thing. Mm -hmm. 